All right, so quick uh, introduction into the parts of um, your Titman. So here's your air nozzle. Uh, this is basically what's gonna strike the BB and fire it. This is the front of your valve assembly, and this is your valve. This is your hammer. So when these two are assembled, When you shoot your gun, your hammer comes forward and it pushes the valve. So it pushes this pin in. That pin releases air out of these two ports. If you have a high flow, then there's three ports. Uh, regardless, it, air is coming out of it. How you control how much air is going down your barrel is there's a set screw that's in here. This acts as a restriction for the air going uh, out of the valve. So because of that, this is where the idea of ED came in. What ED stands for, so EED, uh, Efficiency Enhancing Disc. Uh, simple. And this idea actually would have to give credit to Andrew uh, from the, the group, one of our mods. About maybe about a year ago, he asked me about how to limit uh, the air being used on the system. And uh, the first ad was it was a rubber disc. You know, it worked fine, uh, but nobody really, they didn't really care about efficiency a year ago, so I didn't explore the idea anymore. Uh, now everyone is looking for more shots per tank. Uh, they want to up their efficiency because they're using MFRs. You know, MFRs do use a lot more air than stock or even using spacers. The spacer is, again, using a lot more air than stock. Uh, so now everyone is looking for efficiency. Uh, and one way to boost efficiency is to limit the travel of this valve. All right, so the basics of this is that the hammer is gonna strike the valve, valve releases the air, air fires the BB. Now, what we've been doing with the tip mins lately is that uh, we're trying to get them more consistent. We're trying to save more air uh less air being wasted i know a lot of guys talked about i'm shooting my gun and i'm getting air blown in my face that's because the fit between these two parts uh there's kind of a gap uh how a lot of us corrected this is that we put an o-ring over here so that there was a better fit uh, but by doing the o-ring mod we gain an extra 50 fps so we're, we're directing more of the air being released from this valve down through the barrel now the bad thing about that, and it's not necessarily a bad thing, is that for the guys who need a lower FPS, it makes it a little bit more challenging to um, get down to the 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 lower 300s. Um, versus you guys playing at a higher FPS, uh, you guys are not experiencing um, a problem getting your FPS down. So I, again, how the Tipman works is that. The hammer pushes this valve, the valve releases air out of here, this little set screw restricts how much air is going down um, through your air nozzle. So no matter, let's say that this set screw, it's all the way out and we're shooting 500 FPS. Let's turn this screw all the way in and say now the gun is shooting 320 FPS, 340 FPS. Even though we're shooting, uh, we're shooting the BB slower, we are still using the same amount of air. And a lot of guys have trouble picturing that. So this is the illustration. No matter what, this hammer is going to depress this valve. So if the gun is shooting at 500, it still depresses this valve the same amount as if the gun was shooting at 350 or 320. Uh, so what that basically means is that you guys at the lower FPSs, you're wasting the air. Your BB's gone and you're still having air coming out of your system. So the, the BB's left the barrel, it's gone, it's flown away, it's gone down range, and you still have air coming out. So how we're limiting the travel of this valve is through ED. ED is a disc. 
uh, it's a certain thickness. The less this valve is depressed, the less air is going to be released. Uh, it's pretty simple. So, without Ed, this is how much this valve is being depressed. With Ed in place, that's how much the valve is being depressed. Okay? So, that's how Ed is actually saving air. It's, um, it's not letting this valve be fully depressed. Now, all right, so here's the other part of the equation. When we have the hammer, hammer weighs an X amount of weight. We have the MFR, or we have this spacer for the spring. Um, either of those, they increase the force that this hammer is traveling forward. The harder that this hammer traps, travels forward, it's going to take more force from the valve or more air to be released to push this hammer back, if that makes sense. So it's pushed in. We have the weight from this also resting on the valve. We're going to have to build that much more pressure to get this whole assembly to blow back. So because of that, the duration that this valve is being pressed is a lot longer than stock. That's why the MFR uses more air. So that brings us back to why and how Ed works. Uh, Ed is going to limit how much this valve can be depressed. And this would be the evolution of Ed. Uh, I should go through this because it, it's actually pretty important. So the first Ed was a rubber disc. Uh, it worked fine. Uh, I tried to improve on it by using plastic because I wanted a better rebound on the hammer. And it worked good. The only weird thing I was getting, and this is where I had a lot of time troubleshooting, is that I would get inconsistent um, shots, or I would get inconsistencies with Ed. It took me a little while to figure it out. The biggest problem about this Ed, or the I guess this would be Gen 2 of Ed, <clears throat> is that there's this open space. If you think about it, when this valve is depressed, it has to fill this open void and then it can start pushing the hammer back. As uh, soon as I got rid of this void, a lot of those inconsistency problems are gone. Uh, it just disappeared. This would be your third iteration of Ed. And uh, for you, you do-it-yourselfers, um, I'm going to stress this and I said this before, do not make this out of metal. This is a, a metal Ed and this actually ruined this valve. The reason why that happened is that with the hammer hitting this and the hammer hitting it at speed, the metal piece actually starts to, to move, to warp, to jump, and it distorts. Let's see if you guys can pick this up on the video. It distorts the body. It distorts this, the outside. This outside is actually really thin metal but it also holds the seal for this o-ring so having this all distorted uh, it's, it's flared there's kind of lumps in it uh, because of the disc was moving around having this distorted it doesn't have that great of a seal anymore so it takes again a little bit more air to push this back so this would have been one of the failed eds um, we did fix the the air problem by making this hole smaller but because this is metal we actually v damage the valve's body. Okay, now, you guys who are planning to use Ed, it's um, it's meant for the MFR. It's also meant for people who are going to space the, the spring or they're gonna preload their spring. The reason for that is because this hammer travels less, it, it depresses the valve less, right? So there's less air being released. Uh, on a stock gun, with Ed in place, there's not enough air to be consistent on full auto. Semi works fine. Uh, you're gonna have a really low FPS, I think around high twos. So I, I don't recommend Ed to be used with a completely stock gun. Uh, it wasn't meant to be. It's actually a fix for the MFR and for anybody running um, a preloaded spring. When installing Ed, you guys are actually going to have to glue Ed in. Originally, I made Ed as a press fit. So you'd put it in, you'd have to push it down, and it would stay. 
What I found out though is that at speed or with the hammer hitting it, uh, air was coming out through here and it also was getting underneath Ed and it was making the disc float. So that would kind of, it, it would again cause inconsistencies. So what you're going to have to do is put just a little bit super glue down behind this and then you can put Ed in. Let it set up and you're good to go.